And all that is within me, bless his holy name. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Welcome to another broadcast. This is the Lion of Judah prophetic ministry. The lion is roaring up in this place in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ. I just want to give God the glory for all the great things that he is doing in our midst. Uh, we attribute all the glory and all the honor to the lion of the tribe of Judah, the one who is faithful, the one who specializes in impossibilities. Amen. Tonight we are going to be doing some really, we're going to dive into some prophetic mysteries about our stars of destinies. I hope you really can hear me loud and clear. I want to bless the Lord for all the, 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 the prayer warriors that are getting ready for this week of prayer and fasting where God is going to accelerate us into new realms and dimension. How oh, many of you are saying it's time to possess my possession and it's not negotiable in the prophetic name of Jesus. Uh, I just want to ask, I just feel that we need to just you know, just shame the devil on tonight and just begin to give God some glory on this broadcast in the prophetic name of Jesus. The utter the battle, the sweeter the victory. Uh, it doesn't matter what the enemy do. Hallelujah. We're still going to praise our God. God has given me a different understanding, saints, about the battle. The greater the battle is. Hallelujah. The greater the blessing is, the greater your anointing will be, the greater your promotion will be. Kadosh Kalabahaya. Hallelujah. For those of them who want to see you die, collapse and, and retreat and surrender to their sorcery, to their witchcraft, to their voodoo and to their black magic. I have a word for you. If God be for you, who can be against you? The God that did not spare his only begotten son but freely given him up for you and I. Oh, shall he not freely give us all things? And who shall lay any charge to the cause of God's elect? It is God that justify. I am on fire because I know that my Redeemer live, your Redeemer live. And at the end of the day, if we live right and stay right, we shall, hallelujah, partake with him. We shall rule and reign with him in his kingdom in the prophetic name of Jesus. Tonight, I am under a very on-point team. Oh, God. We're going we're gonna to travel tonight 
different realms and dimension of the spirit. And I hope you're ready for your star breaking, destiny altering, star reviving, destiny accelerating seed. You must have a seed in your hand tonight. Listen to me to, after tonight and after this um, five day of fast you're gonna realize that the footman cannot touch you the horseman cannot touch you the chariot of the devil cannot touch you because God is gonna bring you bring you into a higher place of power we're gonna start with reviving our archie before I go into anything we're gonna revive our archie I want you to know that you may be thinking about a devil that is in the earth realm there when they are supernatural hallelujah being in another realm another hemisphere another stratosphere another dimension that is interfacing with you seeing that your star uh, is about to announce uh, and that devil has come down from ancestral ancestral power powers from your mother's house and your father's house power from the land of your your nativity has come down to battle with you but i'm here to announce who can battle with jehovah they did not stop joseph they did not stop um daniel they did not stop ezekiel they did not stop moses they did not stop esther and neither will they be able to stop you and i in this prophetic season but before we go to battle on tonight there's some Something paramount I want to establish. Rebekotoria. Jesus says in St. John chapter 17 that Father. I am not praying for the world. Hallelujah. You can go to St. John chapter 17 and read it for yourself. I am not praying for the world, Jesus says, but I am praying for those that you have given unto me, for they are yours and they are mine. And so I am not praying for the world. I am praying for those that belong to Jesus because not everybody belongs to Jesus. I'm sorry to say it. So tonight we are going to invite the Holy Spirit. He's already here but we want him to come in our in our atmosphere. We just want the Holy Ghost to take over. We want to eat him. We want to wear him like a garment. Oh yes, we want the Holy Ghost to come up and ash in the prophetic name of Jesus. And so let us ask the Holy Ghost to come. Now I I'm going to pray a prayer about my Archie tonight. I'm going to say my Archie, but you're going to say your Archie, because you have to individualize it tonight in the prophetic name of Jesus. Your Archie, as we go into the study, is something that make you outshine your enemies. You outshine the devils. Hallelujah, agent. You outshine witches and wizards. You outshine those that wants to kill you. You outshine eaters of flesh and drinkers of of blood so tonight we are going to ask the Holy Ghost to come into our Archie and so that any witch that is riding on our success any warlock any necromancer any danger anything that the enemy has programmed to take us out in this season because we have revived our archy and the devil cannot stop and block us because we are hidden in Christ Jesus they have to block hallelujah they have to be eradicated all their blockages and boulders have to be removed in the prophet name of Jesus and that arrow will not go back to the sender so that they can recalibrate and reinforce Yahweh himself is going to come down and take away the arrow they will look for you to be sick and they see you blooming like the, the cedar tree of, of Lebanon. They will look for you to die. And they see that you're outliving them. Because your archie is revived. Who am I preaching to? So the archie of every individual is that glorious light that Jesus spoke about in the book of St. John chapter 1. The Bible said this is the light that came into the world and 
every man have received that light. But sometimes some of us, the light has been destroyed by witches. Maka shall destroy from our destiny. They come into our life as infiltrators and begin to pollute the glory of God in our lives. So tonight we're going to pray. I'm going to pray for my Archie. And as I'm praying for your Archie, just repeat my Archie, just repeat the prayer. Father, I come before the throne of Jesus Christ on tonight. Let the throne of God begin to contend with witches and warlocks. A sign against my Archie. Let the stronghold of witchcraft against my Archie break. Let it catch fire and roast to ashes in the prophetic name of Jesus. Let the refuge of witchcraft be destroyed in the prophetic name of Jesus. Father, as I lift up my archie before you, in Jesus' prophetic name, I call on the God that answers by fire. I call and I take coverage in the God that answereth by fire. I ask, Lord God, for the mantra of Elijah upon my spirit, soul, and body. Rikabo Shanda. Mighty God, as I'm about to go into this kind of teaching. Oh, yes. I ask that angel from the seraphimic race will come. Angels, battle angel, protocol angel, warfare angel, evil angels. I want to be in disengaged from every frequencies, every clause, every curse, everything that comes to attack, everything that comes to slow me down. Every implants, vows, trading, dedication will be untouchable to my archie on tonight. As I bring my archie before you, Yahushua, I ask for an interface with the seventh spirit of the living God. I ask, O oh God, for the spirit of truth, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and might revelation and the fear of the Lord. Tonight, as I engage my Archie Robo Shatta, I call into me the spirit of Jehovah. I call Jehovah Jared, Jehovah Jira, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi, El Enyon the Most High God, Jehovah Tisanuki, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, El Gibor, El Jared. I call on El Shaddai, El Enyon the Most High God in my Archie. I shall stand against witches. I shall stand against evil program. I shall stand against the wisdom of the Antichrist. I shall stand against the wisdom of evil elders in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And all God's people say, Amen, 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 Amen. Now, I want us to go into a very um, a very serious teaching on tonight. I, I wanna I wanna I wanna um paraphrase hallelujah I, 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 I wanna um paraphrase something I, I originally gave this a title that is called Oh Lord Bring the the War Over My Star to an end and I want to subtitle it and I want to call it Star Wars are over. Star Wars are the, the war over your star, just like it was over Joseph and all the other great men of destiny. It is coming to an end and your purpose will be realized and your purpose shall be fulfilled in the prophetic name of Jesus. So here we're going to talk about something very profound. I am so excited because I know that once the battle over our destiny is won or win or, 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 or conquered in the realm of the spirit, then in the physical realm, we will begin to see everything start act, 
um, aligning to the perfect will of God. Many of you, your star has been padlocked. Ele boroko. Prophetess, what kind of message is this? How can my star, hallelujah, be padlocked? Hallelujah. I'm going to demystify. We're going to go deep tonight. Some of you are going to start yawning. Some of you are going to start puking. Some of you are going to feel like you want to run to the bathroom. It is okay. Release it because every star killer from your mother's house, your father's house, Ever start killer Rebe Keshata that is enthroned against you, that is killing the good things that God want to do in your life. They must be apprehended, they must be negated, they must stop their work, it must come to an end. Now, when I talk about you as a star. Each one of us has been packaged from heaven with a peculiar anointing, peculiar gifting, a peculiar assignment that no one else on the planet can fulfill but you. Uh -huh. So when we have demonic covenants, contracts, lease, dedication, and trading in our genealogical lineage that has allowed the enemy to come in and see that this one is going to be someone that's going to challenge us and liberate the entire generation. So let us make life difficult for her, difficult for him. Let us warp her star of destiny. Let us take out everything that God has given this person so that they will not be able to fulfill their, 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 um, their destinies. Okay, so my Bible tell me something something very profound and we're going to break it down just uh, line upon line and precept upon precepts. When you understand that your star must shine and it's not negotiable, then you're ready to go for battle with me this one week on this fast. Hallelujah. So the mysteries of your stars and mine must be understood. Now in Numbers 24 verse 1, the Bible says, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not night. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corner of Moab, and destroy all the children of Seth. Numbers 24 verse 1. So indeed, this text is teaching us that there are mysteries behind stars in the Bibles. The Bible speak about mysteries. Hallelujah. Concerning the stars. In the Bible, stars speak of tree creature. These are angels in Revelation 12 verse 4. Hallelujah. It speak about human in St. Matthew 2 and verse 2. It speak about the celestial body. Hallelujah. In Revelation 8 and verse 12. Thus, having established this from a biblical perspective, we need to understand that our stars, human being, contain the mysteries about us, our geographical location, what God has brought us in the earth realm to accomplish, and this factor must no longer be pushed to the curve. It must be understood so that we can shine in the brilliance of our God-given potential and our God-given destiny. I want to prophesy. The Lord showed me that many of us who had people in the occult, in our genealogical lineage, also they are privy to many things that our star contain. Some of them say, oh, this one is going to be a great doctor, a great, hallelujah, preacher. So whatever is in that star that I don't have, I want to confiscate it. To, to uh, uh, They use what our star contain to elongate their lives. Can I go deep with you tonight? So you will have a child that have a glorious destiny and someone infiltrate your life, infiltrate your children's star and begin to extract 
from their star what pertained unto their destinies. All of a sudden, your child start to go down and their child start to elevate. Your life start to downsize and their life start to be elevated. When Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem of Judea, the Bible give us an account of the birth of Jesus. This is what it says. Now, when Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, three wise men came from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born of the Jews? Why? For we have seen a star in the east. Come on, somebody. Now the wise men were not ordinary people in, in that time of dispensation. Who were the wise men? They were the magi. They were the astronomers. They were the stargazers. They were the star hunters. Rabaku Shadabai. How do you know? The Bible tell us that the star was in the east. Come on, somebody. The wise man says, for we have seen a star. Come on, is star. They didn't see the child, oh. They saw a representation of the king, Yahushua Amashia, in the sky, in the galaxies, in the, 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 the realms of the intergalactic dimension. The Bible says, they say, we see a star and we have come to worship. Come on. How could the wise men know that Jesus was a king? Let us go deeper. So the wise men were like star hunters. They were like the psychic of that time and dispensation. So what took place in that paradigm is what I'm going to bring to you. Something cataclysmic happened in the supernatural dimension of the sky. It is called a supernova. A supernova is what took place in the heavenlies. People who study astronomy and astrologies understand many things about stars than we. Now, what is a supernova? And what did the wise men see? Why they follow the star of Jesus, hallelujah, to locate him. Just as the Magi of that time and dispensation was following the star of Jesus to locate him, so we have evil men and evil women who see your stars and your destiny, and they are following your stars, and they are following your destiny to make sure you never manifest. Why? Let us go deeper. So a supernova is what take place in the heavenly. When the wise men saw Jesus star, what is a supernova? A supernova is a powerful a luminous stellar explosion. This kind of explosion take place in the galaxies. It is so bright, hallelujah, that the optical luminosity of the supernova can be comparable to that which um, on the entire galaxy is lit up. So when Jesus Christ was born, something profound took place. There was a supernova in the galaxy. And this supernova did not just take place for one hour. It stayed in the galaxies for a time. Meaning it can be for several weeks, several months. Hallelujah. We don't know to the extent of how long of a time the supernova took place. But astronomical, hallelujah, astronomically, the astronomical stargazers and those 
who enter um who, 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 who love to make inquiry of stars saw this massive explosion in the galaxies and they conversed to Herod that a great thing is occurring in the earth realm. Astronomers provided Herod with the Herod with the information that something extravagant has took place in the celestial realm. What are you talking about, Providence Anna? Now, astronomy, for those of you who don't know, astronomy is from the Greek is the word asdaf pavua. And it means natural science or those that study celestial object and phenomena. It applies also to mathematics, physics, and chemistry. What astronomy does, they, they, they try to explain the origin of objects and phenomena and their evolution. Astronomers have to deal with planets such as the moon, stars, nibbles, galaxies, cosmic, and all kind of um, thing that has to do with the, the supernatural galaxies and the realm. They deal with supernova explosion. So they were the one who tell Herod that something bizarre is taking place in the galaxies and in the realm that depicts that someone or something great has happened or has entered in the earth realm. Can I go deeper? Now the Bible begin to tell us that that was the announcement of Jesus Christ. Hello, somebody. So Herod was so troubled by Jesus that he started to have belly ache and toothache and he was so troubled by Yahushua, hallelujah, manifestation in the earth. And he believed that this, this star that represent a king is going to be a threat to my monarchy. I have to do something to get rid of this king, can I prophesy? So Herod told his astronomers to go and seek diligently for Jesus. Come on, somebody. He said, when you find him, bring me word again. Why? Because the astronomer know that this is a king. And what Herod said was, give me words so I can go and worship him. But God knows the plans and the trick of Herod was not to really come and worship the boy child. But he wants to annihilate, to assassinate, to, uh, to, 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 to destroy Jesus so that Jesus would not be able to fulfill his purpose on earth. Can we go deep? I'm so excited. I'm on fire, mighty God. So what Herod did says was, I want to I wanna worship him. So the wise men follow Herod's instruction and they departed and lo the star. They found it in the east. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It stood over where the child was. And they saw the star and rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. According to St. Matthew 2, 1 to 2 and St. Matthew 8 verse 10. Now in the depths of understanding this passage of scripture. Hallelujah. We need to look in the above revelation that we're getting from the scripture to bring to light a profound revelation that cannot be accessed by our natural ability this is a mystery given unto us by the lord that can only be demystified by kingdom people who have a kingdom assignment and want to know why you are going under attack because Herod see your star rebo shadabai and he is having a belly ache and a toothache because he knows that you are going to manifest something that 
that is going to be detrimental to his kingdom can i go deeper only kingdom people will understand and will be able to explore the hidden truth that lies in this hallelujah text and message and mystery as it relates to our star now every one of us has a star it is revealed expressively in the scripture that we just read in St. Matthew that the king star reveal his true identity. Herod astronomers, astrologers saw the content that was in the star of Jesus, that he was a king. That's why they were able to know who he was and brought, hallelujah, frankincense and more to show, to, to show tribute to the king. Hallelujah. There is a star in every one of us. If Jesus has a star, you and I have a star. It is only the wise man in that time and dispensation separate and apart from the prophets who prophesied about the Messiah. Only they know the truth about the star and what it contained. Can I go deeper? Jesus was born a star. Herod seek to kill him. The star was there. It was seen. It was not just a spiritual hallelujah phenomenon, but it was a, 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 a physical reality. Today, after we unlock our star, you will begin to see that things that you're trying to do in the earth realm, that you're fighting, Robo Kusha, and could not accomplish them because someone locked your star, someone infiltrated your star, and extract all the divine component that you need to manifest who you are in the earth realm it shall be located in any kingdom in any realm dimension whoever took it shall spit it out they shall cough it up robo shaku and vomit it out so you can fulfill what you were called to do in the prophetic name of jesus are you excited now just as in Jesus' time, these Magi were not Christians. They were demonic wise men. As it was then, so is it now. They are demonic wise men, men and women of God, who are probing into the future, making research, hallelujah, about our stars. These demonic angels are agents of darkness with demonically researching ability are looking at our stars with evil intention to destroy us so that there will be no manifestation. What are you talking about? I am here to announce to you that many children die after Herod fail. Hallelujah. With the wise man, he still make other attempt to kill Jesus. Come on, somebody. Our destiny, hallelujah, a fallen prey by star attacker. Now, star attacker come in many different form. Star attackers can be in your household. Star attacker can be in your bloodline. Star attacker can be on the job. Star attacker can be that husband that you married that was not your God-given spouse. Uh, that wife you married that is not your God-given wife. Star attacker can be someone who is envious of you manifesting and coming to your true potential. So they want to kill you before you can manifest everything that God has in store for you. Rebe Shadabahaya. No. Herod was a notorious killer. He was a wicked man. He was so wicked. The Bible says that Herod, when he saw that the wise man did not carry out his assignment, he, he saw that he was mocked. Do you know what he did? He did not relent. He slew all the children in Bethlehem that were in all the courses thereof. Children from Israel. 
ages to and under according to the time which he diligently inquired of the wise man. Aaron was furious because the wise man did not do what he wanted him to do. So he started to kill out innocent children, hoping to find the promised child cannot prophesy. Rebo Shaku. The spirit of Aaron is still around, brothers and sisters. It is in your home. Envious people who see that, oh my God, if I allow prophetess Anna to to get above me. She's going to become famous. So let us try to kill her. If I allow her. Oh yes, baby Reynolds. Oh God, to get that money that she need. To start that business. She are go she's going to be independent. If allow. Those people who are designed by God. To be billionaires. In the kingdom. If we allow them to get that wealth. They are going to sponsor the thing of the kingdom. They are going to shut down. Some places. That we have as our territory. Who am I prophesying to? Hear me and hear me well. Star killers know that the moment you get your hands on the thing that you need to bring that vision from the, the, the embryotic acoustics into reality, there are going to be some bankrupt in hell. Holy Ghost, some of you have um, 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 children home, orphanage, that you need to rise up. That is going to kill the spirit of poverty. It's going to cause prostitution to stop. It's going to cause abuse to stop. Some of these star killers know that if you can just get what you need to go to the next level, the devil is going to have some serious bankrupt in his kingdom. Who am I prophesying to? God of Elijah, send your fire, Lord. And so Jesus says, hallelujah, it, um, the Bible says that Herod hunt down the star of Jesus. Huh? Why Herod hunt down the star of Jesus? He was intimidated. He was insecure. He had an agenda only for himself. Be careful of those that want to be promoted just to say, I have an accolade, I have a PhD, I have a doctorate in theology, huh? And I'm not going and say, oh, I'm Dr. Prophetess Wade. No, I am Sister Anna, oh, because the only one I come to magnify is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Herod have an agenda that was a self-proclaimed agenda. His agenda had nothing to do with God. So when Jesus Christ came, oh yes, to fulfill the plan of redemption, to set captive free, Herod have a belly ache and a toothache because he's know that his Babylonian kingdom is coming to a head. Who am I preaching to? Are you a victim of erotic spirit? Somebody wants to kill you. They're working over on you. They're sowing seed to kill you. And every time they raise an altar on you, you begin to blossom. God give you a shout. You begin to praise God like you're losing your mind. Holy Ghost and fire. Because if the same spirit that raises Jesus from the dead dwell in you and I, he shall quicken our mortal body. And when they say death, the spirit say life. When when they say defeat, the spirit say victory. When they say robosha, your time is up, the spirit say nay, 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 devil can't touch this. It's appointed unto her to be great. She is called to lose the nation from bondage. Who am I preaching to? Era, take your hands off my prophets and apostles so that they can fulfill the plans of God for their lives and destiny in the prophetic name of Jesus. Come on somebody, you need to talk to me. You're not talking to me tonight. Mm -mm. And so, Herod, hallelujah, is always vexed because he is full with pride and his ego is not satisfied because he wants to be seen. When Herod went and privily called the wise man to inquire 
of the star. They were not seeking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Slowly, they were not passive. The Bible says a diligent search was made. What it means is that they were, were moving heaven and earth to find this one person that is attracted. This person who was attracted to Herod, the Bible says they served diligently looking up and down around east, west, north, and south. We got to find this child. The word diligent is an adverb which derived from the root, the root word diligence. In the New Webster Dictionary of the English language, the word diligent shared the same meaning as alertness, attention, carefulness, eagerness, intensity, perseverance. Diligence is interpreted as steadily effort, careful, hard work. All of these describe the power which Herod went after the stars of Jesus. Can I go deeper? Holy Ghost set me on fire. Now I get to understand that we have so many enemies. Handebosha. We have territorial enemies. We have all kind of enemies. We have enemies in the intergalactic realm. What are you talking about, prophetess? We have the queen of heaven. We have the queen of the stars. What? are you talking about come on we have people that has gone into the galaxies such as necromancers stargazers star killers star hunters oh yes the procrastinators mm -hmm. of modern day we have all kind of entities that that's why i love pastor ingrid so much come on woman of god share this i needed to share this with 10 people we have the queen of heaven we have the queen of the coast Rabashanda. We have principalities and powers. If you were born to set captive free and you're going under attack, it means that something is fighting your manifestation. Are you willing to let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his people? If you want to be free all they gotta do is renounce and denounce them you need to set your prayer in order the bible says in isaiah 49 bring your strong reason that you may be justified you can say lord i need the war over my star to come to an end I don't know to the extent, God, of what you have purpose for my life, but I need every devil that has invaded my star to kill me. Hallelujah. That I cannot manifest what you have called me to manifest. I am asking and beseeching you now in the name of Jesus to take them down. I want to raise one prayer point before we go into the next dimension. You're going to say with me, O oh, rock of ages, O oh, rock of ages, appear, appear. We ask that the witchcraft against my stars will collide upon the rock of ages sorcery against my star collide on the rock of ages in the mighty name of jesus shakalabalakusa Fire, 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 fire. Brida da ba le boruku shataya. Brida ba 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 ba. So the Lord is saying, gone are the days you sit down and say, Oh Lord, deliver my star. Because maybe I'm not sure if, if something is going on. If there's some kind of hallelujah power that is attacking you, you pray, you fast, you can't get deliverance. It's time to take the battle to the to the heavenlies. It's time to know what is the source 
of your problem. It's time to go in another dimension. When I speak about dimension, people get kind of uncomfortable, but they are dimension of the spirit. And when we don't know the kind of dimension that we're in, we are dealing with foot man when arsemen is attacking us. We're dealing with uh, 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 um, um, marrying kingdom when there's a specific demon that is uh, attacking us. So we need another dimension. We have all kind of dimension. We have spot dimension we have trans dimension we have all kind of things that come in into us from other dimension and when you're dealing with a dimensional spirit you need to understand portal gates voltage open doors when I speak about dimension, I am speaking about realm. Paul says he was in another dimension where he heard words that was not conducive for him to speak. Who am I preaching to? We have dimension of power. We have the second heaven, the first heaven, the third heaven. We need to understand understand that when we're dealing with dimension there are things in the second heaven that don't want you to pass don't want what God give you to pass from the third heaven to come how do I know Daniel had a, a fight Oh, with dimensional demons and he had to call on one God that he knows that rule in all dimension before dimension was my God was and is so God had power in all dimension who am I preaching to aleboruku taleboruku shia Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. How can a God who create the hemisphere, the, the galaxies, and all the realms and dimension don't have any power over dimension? God created dimension for the highest level. God created the spiritual earth and the physical earth. The spirit of the Lord over, over the earth as God prepare it form. The Bible says on the first day, God spoke creation in existence. That is why the word that we speak is so important. And that's why we're going to learn this one week fast to train our mouth to speak what God is saying and not what the devil is saying. Rabosha, the Bible says that God created the creation. Iloboroko sataya e created light. The word light is translated from the Hebrew word R. This is the same word, halabashata, that means light. It means it sparks out a fire or shine. Job spoke about that in Job 18 verse 5. God deliver light out of darkness. I feel I want to prophesy. I want to stop here. I prophesy to every darkness in your body. I said, let there be light in the supernatural name of Jesus. Anywhere in your body, there's an habitation of darkness. I prophesy light. It could be. I prophesy the deliverance of your soul from the pit to save your life according to Job 33, 28. That is light, Holy Ghost. Then the Bible says that the light, oh yes, it outweighed the darkness. Come on, somebody. Oh, Jesus Christ, Almighty God, fire, fire, fire. Even God himself is light. Even the devil transforms himself as light to deceive us. The Bible says in Psalms 104 verse 2 that God covereth himself with light as a garment who stretch out the heaven like a curtain. Who am I preaching to Lord? Holy Ghost, there is a realm and a dimension of light that when you walk in that realm, no darkness can encroach upon you. Oh yes, so when we're dealing with the birth, rebirth of our stars, we need to take everything that God has done and spoken about us 
and prophesied into our stars in the prophetic name of Jesus on the second day God looked and he saw that what he intended in his mind was not fully completed and God said let the firmament be in the midst of the water and divide the water into water and God made the firmament and divided it that was another dimension what are you talking about prophetess Anna the word firmament mean space Rekebo shata or gap can I go deeper in that word God used a spiritual water to set a boundary in the universe the firmament between space and heaven and earth there is a boundary who am i preaching to the water above as a boundary the water beneath as a boundary there is a space there is a gap between the universe and that is also a dimension can we go deeper that is the second day now the third day god says it i'm still not finished yet something is not just adding up i need something more in my creation mm -mm -mm. On the third day, God again looked at a spiritual template of creation and God began to work on the physical element of the universe and God began to say, you know what? I need something, hallelujah, in the planet, hallelujah, I need the stars, because I want this to be so meticulous, I want it to be so beautiful, I need the invisible and the visible to align, and God begin to look in the celestial bodies, in the universe, and he begin to create the stars, the moon, the galaxies, Holy Ghost set me on fire. The ram makrobo shandi borikusa ibodos kalabalus kandele. And God saw that it was good. And God saw that He needed more good thing for everything God created. He put a stamp on it that it was good. It is the devil that diverting what God says to be good to be bad and then God look on and say you know what the third day the heaven were created and gathered together and they were gathered in one place the dry land appear hallelujah that indicate that God was putting in the physical creation come on somebody then the fourth day God says I am still not finished the fifth day we're talking about dimension everything that God created he as a ram for it to operate he have a dimension o kalabaliko roboko sotoraba so every one of us have a star of destiny and that star need to be shining in the way god created it god look at the heavens the heavens were created to shine and to do all that God bid it to do. We never get up one day and see the star miss the stars misbehaving, the sun misbehaving, the moon misbehaving. Everything that God has created, it is hallelujah, made to function in the capacity that God has created it. Now we have three dimensions in the heavenly realm. We have the first heaven, the second heaven, and the third heaven. We're talking about star. Oh Lord, let the war over my star come to an end. But in order for you to get to this dimension, you need to understand the realms and what take place in these realms. Before I break down the rams, where well, I'm going to say something that Jacob is a perfect example of another ram. Jacob saw something that is called Jacob Lother, which is discussed in the book of Genesis. Here is a background of the kind of, of, of sleep that Jacob went into to go into that ram and dimension that he could see angels up in the heavenly realm now tonight we're gonna project some some things in our stars but i want to give you a deeper insightful hallelujah revelation 
as to how we communicate in different dimensions. We communicate even by tears and God understand. We God understand. We can communicate to him even with our unspoken word. But as it relates to our stars, we must send word like missile in the realm of the spirit to counteract what is planned and programmed against us in the prophetic name of Jesus. Can we go deeper in the... Come on, like the video. You're not talking to me tonight. I need you to like this video and share the video, please. There's a prophetic blessing on this fasting for each one that shared 10 videos. Rakabo Shanda Bahaya. I need other persons, not just us, to be aware of what our stars entails. Makabo Shataribo Kushataribo Kusha. Immediate effect, every 10 videos that, that are shared, 10 videos, each one of you shared 10 videos. Baroness, I'm prophesying now, Baroness, go. Anyone that is facing financial barrenness, Mandelebo Shata, as you begin to share these videos, Rakabo Shanda, like and share. This is how we evangelize. This is how we bankrupt the kingdom of darkness and establish the kingdom of our God. Like and share, Rabadushkai. A prophetic blessing awaits you under this apostolic grace in the prophetic name of Jesus. Amen. Now we're going to go back into Rabakushai, Mandala Bahaya. I just feel. Someone, you're going to be pregnant in the next 90 days. I say pregnancy release, 90 days, 90 days, 90 days. Rababa. There is a clearing out of demonic cobweb in the prophetic name of Jesus. Rakasata, even that thing that you feel is tying your womb and drawing it down, drawing down your womb. I prophesy and legislate that that cobweb is coming out in the name of Jesus. If you walk free this 90 days, do not allow anyone to sidetrack what God has spoken. So you don't have to be running over and over and over. Kishoto Rabanda. I see eight months. I see a marriage coming to pass in eight months. Rakato Raba. Your husband is getting ready to approach you even now as I speak. Makabo shut up. What God gave me a picture of your husband constantly going in the mirror to make sure that he can get his approach right because he's not a very talkative person, but he's going to have to comfort and say, I am in love with you. I am jealous. I don't want no man else but I'm beside you. I know that this is my time and you are my bride. Go and get your, 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 your family involved. I'm taking you out of this. I'm seeing marriages, marriages. Marriages that, has, that is tied on destiny. God says, go ahead and prophesy. Uh, one, two, three, four marriages I'm seeing. Four marriages, local and international. In the prophetic name of Jesus. And God says, even before your marriage come into fruition, I'm going to take you on a journey because you're going to be your husband's best friend. You're going to be his prophetic intercessor. And God said, this marriage is about destiny. Your husband is coming with the other part of you that you cannot find. God says he has equipped him for the task and you should allow him when he comes to do what he was sent to do. You are not his mother. You are his wife. The mother of the Lord has spoken. So let us get back into mighty God. Every 10 person. Every person. Each person share 10 videos. Share them in groups. Share them. You don't have to. You're not confined only to share them on your page. You can share them on groups. Rakabashanda. I had a vision last night where I saw people were getting buildings. 
and any one of you under the sound of my prophetic voice that you need a building after we unlock your star tonight you're gonna get that building for business you're gonna get that building to do whatever you have been uh, um, 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 envisioning a building a building i am seeing building i'm seeing building in california i'm seeing building in georgia i'm seeing building buildings in philadelphia i am seeing building 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 buildings uh, 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 there is something serious that is going on in the realm of the spirit as your stars are unlocked hallelujah there there are some things that is very profound about what god is getting ready to do with you and that's why he is not hallelujah allowing you to go another month another day in this battle because there's some building as a matter of fact on the this prophetic unction i'm seeing 62 building be buildings being released and they they are for different things building for homes building for businesses building some of you need a new location rakabasata prophet teresa um 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 w borson there's a the, the school of of the prophet is coming out of you buildings uh, uh, uh god is going to release um graphic designers um um it it um um students um from college universities are going to start flocking you in the next couple of months god is doing something new with you i see a fight over building that is going to be yours there's there's a fight not someone literally in in the physical realm but there's a demonic non-human entity that is obstructing what god wants to do and god is getting ready to clean off all of that i am hearing i am hearing buildings buildings Carolyn Hewitt buildings 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 some of you you want to go out on your own in the business arena but because your stars have been amputated your stars have been arrested your stars have been punctured your stars has been disgraced in the realm of the spirit so you you're not getting enough so what I, I I'm sorry for those of you that are just coming on because we speak about the supernova and what take place when Jesus born but I'm gonna go deeper now in our stars uh, so what I get to understand is that because there are a lot of realms and dimension that we are not walking in as Christians we are just in this one level and that's why God allowed the battle God says do not cry and sigh anymore the battle that you are are facing is to literally shake you out of this low plane you must be diligent aggressive hallelujah not be lazy and in indulge sense you're not um indulging or engaging in warfare to kill the error that is attacking your star you are not alert you're not diligent as error as error is seeking you out diligently to kill you so you must seek him out diligently to kill him to stop him from assassinating you so you can fulfill what is written of you in the prophetic name of Jesus no as I said the stars vary no oh do you know that star varies when Jesus Christ star shine in the galaxies it outshine every other stars so star vary in glory as you gaze up in the heavenly realm like Abram the great patriarch of old in genesis 15 verse 5 did you notice that some stars shine brighter than stars huh some stars depict kings some stars depict certain kinds of people that have certain major role in creation in fact the wise men were in so much ecstasy and rejoice why because they understood the glory of jesus christ star in first corinthians chapter 15 verse 41 paul further exposes this truth to us he said there is one glory in the sun another glory in the moon another glory in the stars so that mean everything 
has a different weight and glory stars vary in glories am i talking the glory of the sun is brilliant the glory of the star is brilliant they all play a significant role in the galaxies and the planets but when it come on to us hallelujah and our star we need to understand that that kind is different we are star in stars in the earth and many of us our stars have been covered wow prophetess oh my god because sometimes i know i get up and i have this glory on me the next time is like i am literally dying i am suffocating what is going on somebody may have tampered with your stars your stars are five component that makes it beautiful hallelujah i just want to talk about just a few part of this the the, the 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 star of favor the star of favor is like the esther star she was a star her name is adasa in hebrew which mean a myrtle tree esther was a born queen and she was a mystery to be uncovered she was hidden and so we have the star of favor so you have one big star that has five different components and you have different parts of your stars your star of favor contain every favor that you will need to possess your possession then you have the stars of in your star you have um, influence and affluence in your stars you have finance in your stars you have the person that you were born to marry your soulmate in your star you have the destiny place that you must arrive at now some of us when our stars are manipulated by dynamic forces say for example in god's divine anoms he has written something about you that Anarchy should manifest in America. Um, um, fate walk should manifest in Canada. What the devil will do, he will put us on a different route through persecution and trials. So you should be in America, you are in Europe. You should be in Europe, you're in America. Now, before you were born, there were certain things that God put in place for you. So like your angels were gone ahead of you to the place that you should arrive. Hallelujah. So your star is like the compass that navigates your God-given destiny. So destiny does not fulfill itself. Itself. So the destiny needs the, 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 the divine, hallelujah, component to help it to be fulfilled and established according to God's divine purpose. So this is what the wise men say. They say, lo, the star which they see in the east went before them till it came and stood to where the young child was, said Matthew 2 verse 9. This is remarkable and, and, and it's praiseworthy for us to look into. Here is that star of Jesus that finally landed. Remember I told you that every one of us has a place that we must arrive. And so when your star stars are under attack, you're always on the runway. You're never landing at your destination you are never settling down you have no place to rest you have no definite place of position to rule and to reign you have no place of establishment jesus had a place where is star arrive hallelujah so our stars is that compass that drive us to the place of our destination where we should fulfill our destinies 
When your star is under attack, you will wander from one place to another, having no place of rest. You are what I call a wandering star. And when you're a wandering star, you're a perfect bonanza for star hunters and star killers and star, hallelujah, demoters. Who am I talking to? How do you know what the characteristic of someone who is under manipulation in their stars? Let us look at just a few. You feel like something is cursing you. Disappointment, frustration, pollution. Ah, you're always feeling something militating against you. Can I go deeper? Balaam is hired to curse you. Star Hunter is hired to find you. Who am I preaching to? Eleborokosa. People whose stars are hunted by star killers and star hunters are always seeing good things but never possessing the good things that they see. I see a house in a dream that God wants to give to me, but you never get it. I see I'm going to get wealth, but you never attain it. Oh my God, God is doing something new in my life. It start this week and it end next week. Rekebo Shataya. You never get what you see and what you want because your star is hunted by star killers. Eloboroko Shadabai. You are like an end chicken that is trying to hatch her egg. And every time you say, This is the place that I'm going to give birth, you got to take your Holy Ghost self and run for your life because you find out that like your father Jesus someone wants to kill you someone want the glory of your star to depart this is the prophetic season when people of God need to arise in this era so that your star of destiny, you are called to be prophet of nation, Alice, Alice Reed, Martinez, you are called to write books, you are called for major platform, but someone other than you see that if I let her go, she's not just going to free other people but our old generation that we are in covenant with she's gonna want a freedom what can we do to kill her star hunters are desperately wicked how do i know if Herod, wise man did not got the message to detour what do you think Herod was coming to do fellowship with jesus Absolutely not. Star killers and star hunters are very, very vicious. The power that is over your star is to kill it. Hallelujah. They belong to a class of demonic seers. Just like oh, we have prophetic seers, we have demonic seers. Procrast pro prognosticators, star hunters, star killers astronomers, astrologers, stargazers, who am I preaching to? Just like all we have, people can say, God is going to bless you with the house. We can have star hunters that see in the future, past and present, who you are. This is one spirit that is controlling man, the spirit and the powers of wicked enchanters. The Bible says Joseph was hated the more because of his gift of dreams. Genesis 37 verse 5. It is very easy for people to see, hallelujah, and plan to kill your star or to kill you. Who am I talking? These power carry out their operation in order to track down the stars of people. Hallelujah. Just as Era tried to kill the star of Jesus, but his effort was aborted because 
untimely death was not the portion of Yahushua Amashiach. Who am I talking to? The word star mean to strengthen your spiritual eyes. In St. John 10, verse 10, it means monitor, to pursue, to, to kill. Hallelujah. They wanted to kill Makabo Shanda, Jesus. The moment the star, star hunters, hallelujah, discover that you're going to be great, the next action is to try to hunt you, to pull you down, to destroy you. They want to obtain information about you so that they can strike you down. Oh, Rabashata, what are the agendas, my brothers and sisters, of star killers? Why do we need the war over our stars to come to an end? Is because we need to shine. We need to manifest. Holy Ghost, we need to possess our possession in the name of Jesus. What's the agenda of star hunters and star killer? They kill the stars of people. They frustrate people about, hallelujah, their destiny. They will cause you never to reach your promised land. They promote setback. Delay, halabashaka, satanic embargo, they bewitch your glory, they bewitch you, everything they see about you, it challenges them, they are jealous of everything you do, star killer will kill you in silence, they will kill you and say, oh prophetess, you're such a nice woman, they will be at their altar calling your name and enchanting against you, they will curse you with affliction, they will imprison your glory, who am I talking? Shut down your glory. Make you inoperable. They will put you in spiritual cages and spiritual prison. Who am I talking to? In the prophetic name of Jesus. Star killers can only operate when they obtain information about you. They attack you. Some of you are getting attacked. From your mother's womb. Andalaba shakandalabahaya. What are the characteristics of, 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 of star killers? Why do we need the war over our star to end? Star killers are not just human agent. They are strong man. They are enemies of progress. Unfriendly friend. Ancestral power. False prophet. False prophetess, enchanters, diviners, eaters of flesh, drinkers of blood, vampires, ikado shakura, don't want it to manifest. They are envious powers. They are, hallelujah, sometimes hidden because the devil know the moment you know that he is after you, you are going to fight. Kadosh kalabala. What are the characteristics of stars under attack? Satanic bondages, live, difficult living, prayers are not being answered, demonic dream every day, unable to achieve destiny and purpose, marriage, marriage is difficult, dating, dating is difficult, rise and fall all the time, evil thoughts, that cannot come out of your mind is like your mind is seared with an iron pen. Frustration and limitation, inability to fulfill your dream, serious financial attack, glory attack, mental attack, marital attack, ministerial attack, health attack, rekoto shakatayata, prophetess, hard work. You work, 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 work. Still can achieve nothing. Every department of your life is under scrutiny. Makabo Shata. How do we become hunted by star killers? Hallelujah. We talk too much. Giving them too much information about us. Everything you tell them that God wants to do. They go and show that it never come to pass. Kadaba Katayaba. Does it mean that it will not come to pass? It means it will take you longer to achieve. Makabo Shanda. Rise altars 
against you, to silence you, to kill you, to give you heart attack, brain problems, serious battle with your health. Oh, 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 Providence Anna, what are you talking about? Star hunters can emerge from your father's house, your mother's house, Rekebo Shaku. Star hunters are made to hunt your stars and to make sure you never become what God says. Power of God need to fall and crash ever star hunters. Iloborokosa. Star hunters can be hired by diviners working to divert your destiny. But the God of Isaac, the God that answered by fire, the God of mountain of miracle and fire, the God of lion of Judah prophetic ministry shall hunt out all diviners and strike them with the fire of God. The gods of the Philistine could not stop in the Debochakaya, Samson, you will manifest what you were born to do. Aleborukushai. Oh, do I take back my stars from star hunters? Ekoboshanda. You got to understand a star hunter raise altar against your star, it is very serious. I'm not here for the immature people right now. If you're immature, you can't take hard food. Have a nice day. I love you. But this is time for war. Rebo Shadabaya. When a star killer go to their obia man, the native doctor, the necromancer, the stargazer, and say, Prophetess Anna, Prophetess Kamara, have a son. is going to be a millionaire. But we can't get him to serve the gods of this land. Um, Prophetess Carolyn Dorset's son is a genius, but we need him to come on our side. So we're going to raise a demonic altar to frustrate his destiny. Rababa Shanda to cause him to rise and fall, to frustrate them so much till they come on our side. Ilobo Shanda Labaha. Is it possible for them to take out what belong to you? Yes. They can extract from your star and give to those that are on their side. It is called spiritual cloning, spiritual extraction. Who am I talking to? I feel fire. Let me boss ilo boranda na 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 na. They can take, hallelujah, what belongs to you and give it to who, who they want to. It is called spiritual exchange. Alabalu shandaba. And you're saying, I used to manifest a particular way. Now I can't even remember a Bible verse. It is extracted. It is, com it, it is, it is command and demanded to come out of you. Who am I preaching to? Oh, <laughs> 
is something. If you ever know the secret that they are just ladies. <laughs> Many of you don't you, you don't understand what's going on. So when we're gonna take back our stars, it is very serious. When they are going to their demonic altars, yes, to bring altars of darkness before before their gods to stop you, Mandala Bashanda. From possessing your possession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then when you come before God, you get messages like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you say, okay, my, I, I, my, my star is on attack. And uh, oh my God, what am I going to do? Come on. You got to understand that not only are you going to fight for your stars <laughs> but you're going to make sure that the star hunters will never get lay hold on your stars or anyone that belong to you who must manifest what you know that God says they should manifest <sighs> hallelujah so I want you to know that I'm going to be praying for persons on tonight Kudo Shada Bahaya. I believe that 2019 is a supernatural year, not only for um 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 self um 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 the Lord told me that this year will be a year of um 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 self rec recognizing who you are identifying your purpose and i see many people are getting reckless restless and saying god you know what this year is 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 is, is not gonna go and i i don't come into certain things hallelujah but god told me something very profound and that's why i can only talk to the mature people hallelujah and and and, and tell you that when something is done in the heavenlies against you my god it is one of the worst battle of sorcery you can ever fight if you come to god for god to do something for your star you're gonna have to raise your altar and tell the lord just like all oh, they raised the altar against my my stars in the heavenly sorcerers are going up in the heavenlies to raise their star their, 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 their sorcery against my star my star is a threat to them they have gone to sow their seed do you think that when a witch go to take you out she's just gonna go to a wizard and say you know what i need prophetess anna to die just speak a word and she's gonna bring whatever is required of her or, or, or um, to give to a magician to carry out that diabolical assignment it's only us children of god we're sitting up on our seed and and you're under attack and you see not doing nothing for you so the king of the 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 the, the king of king don't want us to come in this in this realm of knowledge and just just don't work what god has given us you understand what I'm, I'm saying? It, in, in the book of, of Kings, there was a man who had a serious battle. I don't know how serious your battle is, but I know that this is the time that prophetess Anna is coming out, my star in the galaxy and realm, anywhere it is punctured, anywhere it is padlock anywhere it is attack any coven of darkness that has captured my star and pulling out all the different things that god has given me for my life to be good for me to come into purpose that 
invocation, that libation, that manipulation is coming to an end in the prophetic name of Jesus. You don't have to agree with me. But if a witch is going to make it her point of duty to cut to, 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 to hire enchanters, to go to the sun, to go to the moon, to go to the star against my destiny, then that witch need to know that I can raise an altar, Rabba Kushata, to the king of glory. That will cause whatever she has spoken, whatever life Vibration, invocation, manipulation that she has done to my star or he has done to my star in the heavenlies. It must come down. It must die. I will veto that diabolical assignment because I am on the Lord's side and the Lord is on my side and no weapon according to Isaiah 54 verse 17 form against me shall prosper. So God began to tell me that when the devil wants to take you out, he will move with even people that is close to you. They will, he has to get some key information about you, okay? And so tonight, unfortunately, many great destiny has gone under. Hallelujah. People buy houses, they can't live in it. Demons attacking them because what you are dealing with is not just programmed in the earth. It is programmed in the heavenlies by high level witches and wizards. Amen. Many people destiny are going through stuff that they are becoming literally worthless, lifeless. Unless God intervene, every person under the sound of my voice whose stars are under attack may not reach their desire gold or whatever God has, hallelujah, send them in the earth realm to accomplish. There are some prior points that we are going to release tonight. Number one prior point is that you're going to say every program designed against my stars in the heavenlies, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. No, when I say scatter by fire, I prohibit your infiltration, manipulation to affect my stars. So whatever you have conjured, it must scatter. It must come to nothing. Am I talking? Next prayer point, you're going to say every wicked power that has swallowed my star, vomit it in the name of Jesus. For those of you who want to pray in the name of Yahushua, Yahweh, it doesn't matter. It is time for stars to be delivered. Many of you, some of you, your stars are on the verge of dying. Some of you, your stars are punctured. Your star can be punctured. Your stars need to be hospitalized. So now I'm giving you prophetic words to speak over your stars. Prior point number one prophetic word vomited by the Holy Spirit is every power program in the heavenlies against my stars scatter in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number two, wicked powers from my mother's house, father's house, ancestral power that has swallowed my star, vomited. In the name of Yahushua Amashia. The next prayer point, every satanic strong man in the heavenlies, sitting on my star, fall down and die, fall down and die, fall down and die, fall down and die, come on, Rikabo Sakaya, in the name of Jesus, God of Elijah, answer me by fire, in the name of Jesus, every satanic gang up, of my stars, Elobo scatter and die, scatter and die, scatter and die, agent of the waters, hallelujah, in collaboration 
with Queen of Heaven against my stars. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of... You can talk, come on, somebody. Your power from my mother's house. Your power from my father's house that want my stars to wander. Rebo Koshata, hear the word of the Lord. Handobosha, be broken of my stars in the name of Jesus. Come on. All God arise and fight for my stars. All God arise, give my star a resting place. All God arise, kill every error over my star. Come on, somebody. In the prophetic name of Jesus. Any eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood in my stars. Die by fire, Badosh Kalabalakusa. Whatever letter of darkness is in my stars, catch fire by fire. Come on, catch fire by fire, Balush Katayo Doshkai. Oh God, arise and let every altar against my star scatter by fire. I need to pray, Robo Kosotoria. He kanda la bahaya. Every witchcraft thrown against my star, catch fire and be destroyed. Every strong man against my star, drink the blood of Jesus and die. Die by thunder and die by fire. Every power in the cosmo fighting my star. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Come on, I feel somebody. Ekobo Shanda. Mm. I feel somebody star is getting stars are getting deliverance right now. Any power that has ganged up in the atmosphere, the hemisphere, the stratosphere, the intergalactic realm, the galaxies, robo shedabahai against my stars. Let it scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, you're not talking to me. Come on, somebody. If you don't hear me tonight, don't call me because this week is about stars. Rabba Shanda, the manifest station no more going around in circle libo shada bahaya every spirit of debt programming my star come out with all your roots out 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 come on many of you gonna start cough now cough and vomit it any spirit of debt programming my star up 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 rikataya brika shondo bobobobobobobokusa ikata ikata kikodosh kadabakushka ikata robobobobobobobobobo if you feel like you want to vomit <laughs> Go ahead and vomit. Makata Robobosha. Any power in my stars that is a sign to kill me. Mandibosha. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. Ma, come on, push your hand on your belly. If you, you, the lady that says she's yawning. Come on, push your hand. We want it to come out. Any strong man in my stars, your time is up. Die in Jesus' name. Die, die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral strong man in my star. Sister Carolyn Darcy, come on, put your hand on your stomach. Spirit of death, programming my stars. Up, 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 up. Up and come out of my stars. Come on, I cough out the spirit of death. I cough out sickness. I cough out spiders, spiders' webs, cockroaches, lizards, snakes. Come on, somebody, in the prophetic name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, if you feel like you're going to die, you're not going to die. Just begin to pray the prayer point. Mm. Every snake in my body that came into a ladder of darkness, come out and die. Come out and die. Come out and die. Any tree 
Come on, Sister Carolyn, you need to vomit out that. Idobo Shanda Badush Kidaya. Iyaba Bondele Bo Shandai. Every witchcraft authority in my stars, in my destiny. Break, 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 break. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus, every padlock on my stars, I use the armor of God. Break, come on, somebody. Come on, you're praying for your stars. Come on, you're praying for your stars. Come on, you're praying for your stars. Cough it out, Caroline, not just yawn. Baka shadabadosh. Brikatadi. Brikatadi. Every padlock upon my stars. Break, 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 break. Demonic altars in the heavenlies against my stars. Break a bush at a bahia. Rick a baba sakua. Ekondalabosia. It is written for this cause was the Son of God manifested in the flesh to destroy the works of the devil in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ibada Badosh Kadabaya Branda everyone that is supposed to be a millionaire that is under the sun. I'm gonna call you out. You better get ready to raise an altar. Raise an altar for your stars. Don't take what I'm saying lightly. What do I mean? Noah raised the altar when he came out of the ark. And God smelled a sweet selling savor coming up before him in the book of Genesis. And God says, I will never flood the earth again. I have a lady that need to testify what altar in this ministry has done for her when she was at the point of death. You need to raise a sacrificial altar and say, God, you know what? I am not even going to challenge this too much. I want a deeper insight. I want a deeper revelation. I want my stars to outshine my haters. I want every one that wants Wants me dead like Herod want to kill you to see my star shining and they know that they can't touch the Lord's anointed. I feel somebody need a breakthrough in the next six days. I feel somebody need to take it from the heavenlies. I feel somebody need to say, God, they're using blood of animal, blood of goat, fall blood, goat blood, human blood, ritual, money ritual, raping of virgin, raping of animal to block and to stop me but I come in the apostolic name of Jesus to raise a seed in the line of Judah prophetic ministry I want an altar to speak in the cosmos speak in the galaxy Kadosh, I'm raising my seed now yes God I'm not just telling you what to do and don't do it for myself I need right now under this broadcast I need an altar in the galaxies to speak Rebe Shataya against every witchcraft that wants to come against me, my children, my destiny. Who am I preaching to? Come on. Everything that God has in store for me, I shall not die, but I shall live to receive it. See it now. I'm raising my own altar. Elebede Kosia and offer it unto the Lord to seal this prophetic word that is given unto me. I want it now that the anointing is hot upon this ministry. I want it now in this time of intensive fasting. I want whatever. Mm. Jesus Christ. Why? Mm -mm. Makabo shatter. I want ever they stole out of my star. They take money to their their, their demonic hallelujah priests. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And their priests carry out a work. 
They stole the wealth of my family, Lord. For my a child have been abused. For my child have been neglected. They stole what belonged to me. They put a curse on me. They put the mark of hatred on me. I cannot excel. No matter what I do, something is fighting me from the heavenly. Makashat, I raise my eye altar right now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the heavenlies, Lord, let the galaxy fight my enemies. Come on. According to Judges 5 verse 20, and the stars in their courses fight against Sisera. As I raise this altar, everything that, that was in the cosmos, the star, the sun, the moon, against my destiny, it will come down, it will die in the name of Jesus. As I raise this altar, Kushanda Bahaya. Who is under the sound of my voice? You need, you need, I see you getting three houses. You need the three houses. You don't even have money for payment of one. And this thing, you have to unlock it in the heavens. If you ever get this concept that you're not just fighting with footman, you're fighting from men and demonic entity that have observed you generationally, ancestrally, and they have gone ahead of you to make sure you will have difficulty in manifestation. I am not waiting until the anointing lift off me before I begin to release that I want want the altar to speak for me hallelujah just like hallelujah jacob saw the ladder of 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 yahushua in a different dimension he saw the the ladder of yahushua in the heavenly dimension the first heaven third heaven second heaven and third heaven the key that we are raging war with sister prophetess kamara to get back what is in our stars can i tell you something god tell me something vicious about the stars and it's only people who are willing to war for their stars both prayerfully and financially will be able to get in that dimension your finance is not what's going to speak in terms of because it's money it's because that is what you can use now while witches are using blood goats and goats of bloods and chicken and stuff you use your finance and say god i'm using this to connect now, the angels of God connect to, hallelujah, Jacob, in descending and ascending from a heavenly realm. Jacob saw a ladder set up in the heaven. And that was, an altar was at that place. That's why he could see in that realms and dimension of the spirit. Hallelujah. And so I want to say to you, I don't just go and shout before God. I want the demonic king that blocked my answer from coming down from the third heaven to be moved just like oh god sent um um on the prophetic angel michael to relieve daniel angel amen and so it is clear that the most i god is the possessor of heaven but underneath god is satan in the second heaven blocking us demon um, prophetess, I feel something in my throat. Come on, vomit it out. That 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 shows you that what I'm teaching you is 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 on point, and you don't need to waste any more time. Hallelujah. I have a problem, brethren. Uh, when I come with these teaching and people say, prophetess, these are really true. I'm vomiting out stuff. I had something move out of my back, and God is saying, you don't you you don't want the enemy to reinstate the bondage. So raise an altar and, and block and stop him from fulfilling his diabolical um, assignment. Even people who understand the concept of altar know that since um abortion is under attack in in America. Many demonic altars have been broken down because demons feed on blood sacrifices and blood ritual because people in the demonic realm understand the power that come on sacrifices, especially human blood. And so with our faith touching God in the heavenly realm, we're saying, God, my faith is the substance of the things that I hope for. The evidence is not yet clear according to Hebrew 11 verse 1. But I need something. I need something that is not normal to manifest. I don't know who. And I know you're under the sound of my voice. And you say, God, I really need. I have, I have done this over and over. But I need something that 
will even cause my enemies to say, my God, your God is truly the true and living God. Who am I talking to? You need your altar to speak in the heavenlies. You, you need the altar. When Dr. Cindy Trim came out with this teaching about raging your warfare in the heavenlies and we're hearing command in the morning by Dr. D.K. Ulukuyu and all these giants of faith that are teaching us that the way you're talking about, um, bless the Lord, some of you is the microwave Christianity faith. You're wor wanting to work, I just say a prayer. Um, oh Lord, my God, cover me today. When witches are on wizards, spend three hours calling your name and invoking evil upon your your body and invoking all kind of thing upon you. You're just spending five minutes to say, Lord, I wash myself in the blood of Jesus, and you go. That's not enough because you don't know to what extent that evil has been invoked against you, have been projected in you. So what many Christians in the church don't know is that diabolical altar is not only raised in the heavenlies. Some people raise it in the water. Some people work with the underworld spirit and they raise these altars and the altars are fighting you. Hallelujah. And you're just saying, Lord, I am so tired. It discourages you from even going to church because the thing that you're fighting is so overwhelming. And you know that you know that this is something that is paranormal. Our enemies are not only attacking us in the physical realm. So how do I get back my star? What content is in my star? Can I tell you something? God gave me a revelation that Joseph went into prison not only because God because because um of what Potiphar's wife said God used the prison as a strategy to kind of protect Joseph because Joseph's star was so glorious that if Joseph compromised he will only have like 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 a foretaste of what his destiny entail. So Potiphar would have Joseph to sleep with him with her and then just give him the crumbs. When David was anointed in his destiny entails that 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 that, that um, that um, anointing that will raise him to kingship. So if he had compromised with sleeping with Potiphar, chances are she would just have him as one of her. Or, 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 or dogs you know do that joseph do that because his dignity has been taken from him that virtue that would have you know enhanced his elevation as it relates to him coming into kingship hallelujah now um you say when 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 no altars must be raised with an understanding I don't know. There are some people that are on that you're going to come into great wealth and great influence, but you don't have no altar speaking for you. Basically, you have a lot of diabolical altars speaking against you. Kill her. Make her sick. Handala Bahaya. Break up all her relationship. Frustrate her destiny. Don't let her get you immigrationally. Don't let that marriage lasts. Give her pay, pay misery. Let her die prematurely. And you're here saying, oh, no. You need to contend with the enemies in the gate by raising altars. So how do I raise my altar, prophetess? You bring your altar to the Lord. Biblical revelations are dear. Can I tell you what happened to Abraham? No, Abraham was in covenant with God. So why Abraham had to raise an altar? Why? Can anyone explain that? There's so much um, biblical, um, um, well-learned people who are stewed in the word that knows about altars and stuff. One person I just want to give me an example of what, hallelujah, they thought Abraham did when he raised that altar. Why? Abraham was in covenant with God. God made promises to Abraham. So why would Abraham, after he know that he's going to be the father of nation and, and, and true him shall all the people of the earth be blessed. Why did Abraham free of the vulture? Why did Abraham had to raise an altar unto the Lord? 
I can tell you what that altar did for those of you that don't want to listen to God. You're going to spend another five, ten years in that testimony, in, in, in that place, because you don't, you, you just say, well, it's just my money. Really so, no, Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 15 and verse 11, the Bible says, so Abraham bought all this to him, split each, that was the bird. He brought everything that he needed to make as a sacrifice before the Lord. Let us go to um, verse 10 first. Let me read from um, verse 10 to give you a better understanding. Abraham brought all these to him, cut them in two and arranged the half opposite each other, the birds. However, he did not cut in half. What was Abram doing? And Abram's, and the Lord said to him, bring me a heifer, a goat, and a ram, each three years old, along with a turkey dove and a young pigeon. So Abram brought all these to him, to the Lord, and split each of them down in the middle. And what did Abraham did afterwards? Abraham stood there and he was transported into a prophetic dimension after he gave the sacrifices unto the Lord. Before Abraham did it, some bird came and they were trying to, to, to attack his offering and Abraham had to free them away. And the Bible says in Genesis 15 verse 12 that as the sun was setting, Abraham fell into a deep sleep and suddenly great terror and darkness, hallelujah, overwhelmed him. What? Let us look at verse 13. What take place, prophetess? Abraham had a prophetic encounter with the Lord. Hallelujah. And the, and the Lord took Abraham 430 years out of his realm paradigm timeline into another dispensation. Am I talking the power of, of altars and sacrifices? Hallelujah. Abraham was transported into that prophetic realm and gather prophetic information. This is the information that Abraham got. The Lord says, then the Lord said to him, know for a certain that for 400 years, your descendant will be a stranger in a country, not their own, and they will be enslaved and mistreated, but I will judge the nation. Hallelujah. They serve as slave, and afterward, they will depart with many possessions. Hallelujah. God gave Abraham ahead of time what will happen after he raises his altar. So when we're dealing with altar to take back our star, we cannot just come out. Oh, maybe next week I'll give you, maybe, no. I am aggressive now. I want what, because what God has for me now is overweight it, it, in its glory, everything that I'm trying to struggle to achieve because I was packaged from heaven with everything that I need. What are you talking about? The Bible says that God has given us everything that pertains to our life and to our godliness, our calling. So where is it? Where is it? Rabba It was stolen from some of us. And some of us cannot find our way. Hallelujah. Now, I am... I'm employing these of us who understand. There are destiny people under the sound of my voice. You don't have to believe me, but it worked for me and is working for me in my health. Ale Boshanda, my eyes, my body, my family, and I'm giving you the same thing, the same principle that God has given me. When your stars are under attack, you need to fight. And some of you mothers, you need to fight for your children's stars. You need to, my son is going to be great. I must 
clip the enemy from in the heavenly. The same enemies that attack my stars will not attack my children's star because I have gone ahead and set things in order like Abraham in the prophetic name of Jesus. When your stars are under attack, you need to fight. Jeremiah 1 19 says, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail. Can I tell you what, 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 what God tell me? Many of you, you're in churches and prophets call you out and say, oh my God, you're going to be a prophet of nation. But nobody was covering your stars and information about you get to the wrong people. And from that day you received that prophecy, your life have been under attack. People trying to kill you. They're trying to quench your gift. You are underprivileged. You're not up. Listen to me. If I be a woman of God and you listen to the voice of the Lord out of this prophet that you have proven from 2016, I've been on broadcast. So if I was telling lie, people would start right up and say, this is not so. I am telling you, if you raise your altar, hallelujah, against those that are attacking you from in the stars, hallelujah, in, in the celestial realms, I am telling you, you're going to see manifestation in the earth. The greatest thing you can do for yourself is to get the spiritual power that you need. The greatest thing you can do for yourself is not to procrastinate over your destiny anymore. The greatest thing you can do for yourself is ask the Lord to give your star a landing place. The greatest thing you can do for yourself is to command that what God has spoken about your destiny manifests. When your stars are under attack, you have to be serious. You need to leave no room to agree with the enemy. Erod, Erod in persons are the spirit of Erod that are still operational now. Erod was ferocious. He was a murderer. Where did he see Jesus Christ star? In the heavenlies. Where are they senior stars? In the heavenlies. It's not just the psychic senior stars. All kind of people senior stars and do not want you to manifest. Hallelujah. How can you destroy them? Do something that will blow their mind. Know that they know that they're discovered. You can retrieve your health. You can not die prematurely as they have planned. You can move from failure to success. Can I tell you something? Any one of you that is under the sound of my voice, you have, uh, you are married and your, your wife is under attack, your husband is under attack, go to the heavenlies. Demote the star of the one that is causing you pain. Let it fall to the ground and die. You can do that. I cannot teach us. Very dangerous. <laughs> Only for mature people. Amen. Your star can die prematurely if they conquer you in the heavenlies. Your life can be devoid of purpose if they conquer you in the heavenlies. So if you want to retrieve your stars... The benefit that come, you know why I am I'm relaxing? Because when I find out that everything that I will ever need, my home, my car, my husband, and everything that I've ever need was already allotted to me. But unfortunately, because of covenants and contracts, vows, trading and dedication of my ancestors and dear gods and dear idols, I lost a lot of things generationally. And God is saying, Prophetess Anna, this is the generation that all the robbery is going to stop. Are you ready to pay the price? Wow. I am decreeing deliverance upon you. Your star can also be darkened. What do you mean, Prophetess Lord Jesus? People can see the light and the glory of your star and they put a covering cast 
upon your star so that the brightness of your star will be swallowed up by witchcraft battle and all kind of things that make your star dim and you're not shining in glory anymore your stars can be ridiculed in the realm of the spirit people make fun of you you have a mark of hatred you become like a wine topper. You become nothing in life because your star has been polluted. Your stars can be stagnated. You, God created us to go from glory to glory and from strength to strength. When your star is stagnated, you could try as you much. Nothing will happen. They will hijack, disdain, and stagnate your star. Your star can be satanically repositioned. And that's why we need the altars. For those of you who want to sow your altars, I have something that I have to do. Tonight, for those that are raising their altars, tonight, I have to come with you in agreement on a journey to the heavenlies to pull down the star hijackers, star detention, Star demoters, star killers, star polluters, and star, hallelujah, capturers. Those that steal your stars and cause what your star contain to be working for them, but working against you. They are using your stars to elongate their lives. And you are like a pauper out in the cold cannot find your way your stars can be satanically repositioned you should be in america but you're in europe the angels that were sent to you in in america they did not send to europe so when your star has been satanically repositioned you are at the wrong place at the wrong time among the wrong people Always under attack, no destiny helper, your star is repositioned. Before the wise men could see the star of Jesus, there was a correct positioning that took place at a particular position where the star was. Look at St. Matthew 2 verse 2. What took place? They said, for we have seen a star in the east. So that means your star Need a location to land. Hallelujah. Where is your location? Why are you in Russia when you should be in Canada? Why are you washing battle when you should be an administrator? Your star has been satanically repositioned. Hallelujah. I could go on. Many people made a lot of tragedy in life. Because of satanic repositioning of their stars. Every one of us have an address. Every one of us have a place of demonstration. A place of manifestation. I want 45 or 50 of you said tonight I'm raising my altar by fire by force. I will prove a prophetess and a key is a true woman of God. My star must get back on track. My destination, I must arrive at it. My determined location, I must arrive at it by fire, by force, and it cannot be negotiated. Many of us don't know our star can be exchanged. Oh, I see so many people, many of you have brilliant children and you say, oh my God, my daughter can sing. And you tell somebody that your daughter can sing, all of a sudden she can't sing no more. Oh, my son is very good in math. All of a sudden your son is like, he's having a problem with his brain under attack. Can't remember anything. They start attacking his character. Put the mark of hatred on your child. So everywhere your child go, people start talking bad instead of speaking good about your child because your star has been exchanged. A lot of demonic exchange go on in life spiritually and we don't understand that they're demonically 
exchange. Caroline, you are testifying that. Let me ask you, why was Herod so particularly interested in knowing at what time the star appeared? Herod was no fool. He understood what he was up to. These people that operate in exchanging stars and destiny examine us thoroughly. What time prophetess broadcasts? What time that person is coming to church today? What time do you do this? What time do you do? This means they are investigating us to see what's going on. They are interested in our star. They are concerned about the qualities of our star so that they can attack us. Just like, hallelujah, the brightness of the stars draw a demonic attention that was errored with Jesus, so your job can draw demonic attention. Your position, your marriage, your glory, your anointing, your children, hallelujah, can cause demonic Hallelujah, hallelujah, people to be investigating you. Come on, monitoring you. Thank you, Apostle Ransford. Your stars can be wounded. My star wounded puncher. A wounded star is sick and need to be healed. When your star is wounded, you efficiently decline in various areas of your life. Come on, somebody. You go to the brink of breakthrough, but you never get it. You are operating in the symptom of all most dear. I feel fire in my bone. Joseph, hallelujah, is a faithful bow, even a faithful bow by a well whose branches run over the wall, the Bible says. But guess what? The archers... I've surely grieved him and shoot at him and hated him. Joseph stars of destiny was punctured. But thanks be to God that God can repair our punctured star and set us back on our way rejoicing. Genesis 49, 22-23 show us that Joseph star was punctured. Can I prophesy? The more glorious your prophetic star is, is the more you get attack. <laughs> so when people call me as a prophetess, I'm under attack. I'm excited because I know that the devil knows something that you don't know about you. That is why he is fighting you. Come on. You are not, listen, nobody stone on ripe mangoes. When you pass place with ripe mangoes, you're going to stone it. Bam! Hey, bam! So, I know that the devil will not be attacking you unless you're a threat. My eyes are up on those who said, well, Providence, I'm telling you, man, the warfare thing, uh-uh, God is risen. No, you're a liar. You are, you are in agreement with the devil. But those that are purpose people and those that have every destiny and those that have every mandate, Rabba Kusha, you are the one the devil wants to kill. You are the one the devil wants to stop. You are the one is going to raise up people in, on the job, in the church. Is going to make people talk about you because all of that is just to distract you so they can get to annihilate you. Another prophetic terminology we use for great destinies are colorful destiny. My God. When you listen to Reinhard Bonke, Juanita Bynan, T.D. Jakes, and those men, hello? They did not just arrive on major platforms. Some of them were at the point of death. 
because the devil knew things about them that they didn't know about themselves. And now that they are coming into the full understanding, oh my God, I remember T.D. Jake was a, was a jog's lord. And now look at him. He was in the, in the world not knowing of a clue what his destiny entails. Juanita Bynan was all over the place. Prophetess Anna Kay was in um, 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 a silent club dancing and, and vibrating. Didn't know that I was going to be preaching my soul out to a lost and dying prophetic generation. We didn't know who we are. We were like wandering stars in the prophetic name of Jesus. So your star, the more, listen, stop saying I'm under attack. I'm under attack. I prophesy to you today. Start saying my destiny must be big up in here, devil. That's why you want to kill me. My God, what it is about my destiny that makes the devil hate me so much. Come on, stop saying that nobody likes me, everybody is against me, the devil wants to say, ha ha, oh, I, I can turn her against yourself, say what it is about my destiny that terrifies the belly of hell, the gate of hell, the mouth of hell, what it is, God, show me who I am, hallelujah, the moment God begin to show you, who you are, my God, then you will know why the devil hates you so much. Let me tell you something about myself. At the age of five, strong demonic spirit used to come and beat me every night in my sleep. Ha! Huh? Because they know that I am going to be used by God to kick their butts a man. And my sister Simone will just come and say, boy, I don't know what these demons want with you. My mother always have to be running all over the place with me. Demons always try to kill me. When I, when my mother conceived with me, uh, they try to kill her with sorcery. And she was only 16 years old. Rabashanda. I was two weeks overdue. The devil tried to kill me even before I could say, Mama, <laughs> but it was because of what my destiny entails. I had the worst life. I was molested at age eight. I was left to die. No, I, at one point in time, I ran away from home for three years. They thought I was dead. All kind of mayhem took place in my life, all because of my destiny. And so your stars can be redirected. Your stars can wander aimlessly to a place where you never arrive at. Hello? So we need our stars to come back in alignment. I remember a couple years ago, our prophetess Caroline was living in America. And I told her to raise her altar. Things was not going in good in her life. And she raised her altar. And I told her that God was going to send her and take her out of America and put her into a foreign country. And she's in that foreign country right now. She's on the broadcast. Can back up what I'm saying to you. There are drastic measures that need to be taken when your star are under attack. Your stars can wander aimlessly. You never fulfill purpose. Hallelujah. Your stars can be denied. People can pump hatred in you. Hallelujah. The Bible talk about wandering stars. You don't want to be a wandering star. You don't want to be a star that is aiming aimlessly. You want to finally arrive at your location. How do I raise my altar, prophetess? I hear that in my spirit. How do I raise my altar? Is there anyone that wants to know how do I raise my altar to get back it to get back everything that belongs to me from the heavenlies? You go before God and you ask the Lord to come before the court of heaven. And you you bring a seed. You bring a seed and you come before the court of heaven, understanding that you are already be given the right to stand before the Lord. The word of God state in Hebrews that we should come boldly before the throne of grace, that we will find strength in the time 
of need. No, you have to ask the Lord to enlighten your understanding when you are a novice going into the court of heaven. Then you're going to ask the Lord that for decades your ancestors have sell out certain things that belong to you and Lucifer and his agent has come into your destiny, into your stars and they are attacking you from the heavenly realm. You're going to bring God to his word, Ephesians 2, 8 to 9. You're going to say, God, that you want me to walk in truth. You want me to participate in all the things that is right. And you want me to achieve everything that you have provided for me. God, you already told me that I am not wrestling with footmen in the earth, but I'm wrestling not with flesh and blood. We, I'm, 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 I'm contending not with physical opponent only, but demonistic power and, and master spirit whose rulership are presently in the heavenly realm. Ephesians 6 and verse 10. Then you're going to say to the Father, it is my intent to fulfill your prophet, prophetic words for my life. God, it is an hostile world over my star. There is a war zone over my star. Lord, I see where you have sent angelic messenger to Daniel. I see where Archangel Michael plays a significant role in relieving Daniel so he could fulfill his destiny. According to Daniel 10, 8, Daniel 10, 12 to 3, 13. The king of Persia was no match for you. And yes, the king of Persia was also a Attacking Daniel from in the second heaven. Where was the king of Persia? In the heavenlies. Attacking Daniel. So you see why we have to deal with things in the heavenlies. Mm. Now you're going to say to the Lord that you're asking him to bring up all the documents of stargazers, star hunters. Come on somebody, we're going to talk tonight. Come on, we need to talk. Uh, those that have to go to um, church, you just, um, I mean work, you, you just have to leave us right now because this is very important. I want all documents of stargazers, star hunters, star killers. Can, can you write them down? Dear Lord, I want all the documents to come before you of star hunters in my father's house, my mother's house. Star killers in my father's house, my mother's house. Hallelujah. I want you to bring every power, every personality, non-human entities that are attacking my stars of destinies in every realm, in every age, past, present, future, in every timeline, Time loops, Rekebo Shandabakusaku, mighty God, wherever they are located, in the galaxies, in the stratosphere, in the hemisphere, in the intergalactic, in the cosmological realm, wherever the realms and dimension that I am being attacked from i ask o yavava that your angels will go for it now and with nets nets of fire any technology necessary to bring all these powers entities fallen angels and whatever human and non-human entities that are attacking my stars of destiny my children's stars so you're going to identify the stars my marital star my health star financial star ministerial star rakashata the star of my humanity you can just go on and describe because there's a star over every year of your life. Ha, there are five components, but each component carry different areas. Halebo Shanda, my ministerial star, my gift of prophecy, give whatever ministry gift, the star that is over that, wherever it is, whoever is attacking it, I call on you, Father, to appear 
Pull up the files. Pull up the files, Lord. Makashata. Pull up the files that they have on me. They are files on my generation. They are files from my father's bloodline. They are files on my mother's bloodline. And so you're going to just continue in that prior i need you to bring up all documents detailing their covenant and contracts contracts of star killers star hunters i need you to bring them up before your court right now in the name of jesus come on somebody in the name of jesus then you're gonna say father as they bring all these documents should there be any other documents, covenants, contracts, vows, trading, certificate, oaths existing in the spiritual realm to permit their, hallelujah, attack upon my stars, my children's stars, let them be brought forth and be stamped with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you're going to say, I need further investigations to be done. I ask, Lord, that you will go to the power source of this entity attacking me. Go to their timelines, time loops, age, dimension, frequency, vibration, planet, cosmic, constellation, universe, past, present, future to infinity stamp every documents on me and my children my bloodline hallelujah i know you're going to reinstate your star this is the most important thing that you need to do now when you understand that you're in ministry no matter what you do you just promote it for a while demotion your finances under attack and these are things that you are packaged from heaven to come into the earth to fulfill you are at another place at another time in the spiritual realm you gave god your yes lord and god used your mother womb as a conduit to channel you from that realm to this realm to fulfill a mandate everything that pertained to your life your calling and destiny was provided in your prophetic stars ha huh? They, Joseph got a glimpse of his prophetic star and he began to share what he discerned prophetically in his star. That was a mystery unfolded before Joseph's brother that brought so much contention and envy to the point that they wanted to kill their brother. And so when you realize that my stars are under attack, no, why am I living less than, than un, like I'm underprivileged? No, we're is this legal right coming from the enemy because he has to have a legal right to, to attack your star so you're gonna pray so i'm gonna take us to the, the court now this is the official prayer hallelujah and then you raise your altar like abraham did and then you uh, we're gonna pray i may have to do a part two where we're literally gonna release back stuff into our stars I, I, I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit is just taking me in this room where even if they put sickness on you, you can take it out. If they put premature death on you, you can take it out. But there's a particular way you have to approach the Lord. And that's why some of you are going through seasonal affliction. Every month, there's a particular attack financially, maritally, relationally, um, communicationally. In every sphere of your life, there's a pattern of attack that just don't go away. It subsides for a certain time and then it is reinstated. Why? When you don't raise your altar, you have power that reinstate the attack. Why? Because you bind the spirit, but you did not deal with their contract that they have on you. You did not deal with their covenant. So you cast out the devil four months after he come back attacking you over something that you pray about because he still have a document on you. Praise the name of Jesus. It's after one now. I'm getting ready to come down. So this is the official prayer. Father, I come to the court of heaven. My name is Anna K. Wade. 
Daddy, I ask that you will register me in your court right now as I stand in appeal for my star, my star of destiny. And, and you can repeat the prayer after. And you're going to say, Lord, as I come before you, your word declare that I should come boldly to the throne of grace, that I will find strength in the time of need. I need strength, Lord God, for my star to be reinstated. So I ask that every buck of power source in every realm, age, timeline, frequency, vibration, planet, cosmo, constellation, the universe, the galaxies, the realm, hallelujah, past, present, future, to infinity, and from the beginning, across all time, all timelines, all time loops, I speak that they must be unplugged from my stars, my children's stars, individually and collectively. I ask that every satanic ladder will be burned, ruined, consumed in the holy fire. I declare that every related documents of covenants, come on, contracts, verdicts, agreements with the devil that is affecting my star, any oath, any initiation uh, that exists to permit these attack upon my stars in the heavenlies, I ask that they will now be blotted out with the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Then you're going to say, I identify any gate, devices, technologies that has been used against my stars, my children's stars. I call all these gate, hallelujah, blocked and stopped and shield by the shed blood of Yahushua Amashiah. I ask that angels will go to the cosmic realm, cosmic regenerator, cosmic reinstator of any wicked devices and protocol to kill, to manipulate my stars. I remove every gate, every frequency, every barrier, equation, cloaking devices, force field, sacred dramaty, defenses protocol, or DNA matrix that will serve to protect the demons that I'm trying, hallelujah, to identify here. I call for it angels to stand guard against every diabolical assignment. I ask that angel will pull out, remove from my star any substance poured out by demons, demonic angels such as wire, cable, chips, technology, component, hidden devices, Rikabo Shandabakusaka, any invocation, manipulation, libation, any technology that they're using to destroy the good things in my star. Ikobo Shat Purianda Malodo Bokusakundiai, Rekebo Shanda, any covenant, any contract, any vows that they're using to destroy my star, any demonic angels. Oh God, I pray for a total, hallelujah, apprehension and prompt removal of every device. I pray that prophetic angels will be released now to remove everything in my star of destiny bakato shadabo rikabai I ask, O oh God, that warfare angel, protocol angel will be released in my star. Are you hearing me, saints? Mandibo Shadabai, every cauldron operating against my star, let it be removed by the blood of Jesus. Remove my stars out of demonic environment. You're not talking to me, saints. Come on. Like the video, Shaku Badia. You cannot be lazy <laughs> when you're fighting. I'm coming off now. So if you don't get it, <laughs> it means that you don't get it. Amen. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that this satanic battle Oh, God, over my stars will come to a perpetual end. I deed my stars to Yahushua, Amashia, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I take into my stars all the name of God, Balikota, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, 
El Enyan the Most High God, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shalom, El Enyan, Elot, Yavared, Jehovah Katushamama. I take into my stars, Hallelujah, Jehovah Nissi, the banner of Israel, God. I ask that any assignment of the enemy over my star, come on, assignment like premature death, sickness. Incurable disease, insanity, rakashata, loss of dignity, hallelujah, inability to keep my husband, inability to keep my wife, halabo shakuria, every army of Satan, makataya makatari yong nong shang yang, ling nong zong nang, ling nong shing yong sa, that is deployed against my star in the name of Jesus I engage my stars with the seventh spirit of God in the name of Jesus I ask that everything that is deployed ha in my stars will be destroyed every affliction incurable disease sicknesses that does not heal with medication witchcraft Father, I identify these things. I bring the finished work of the cross in my stars. I bind, neutralize, X's, vexes, incantation, spells, smoke, enchantment, jinx, sent to my stars. I pray that you will drain my stars of these in attacks in the name of Jesus I decree I will manifest what you say and to manifest I address and shanda every entity that is non-human in my star Ebo Shata I further go on to align my star to Jehovah Rapha for healing Jehovah Shalom for peace Jehovah El Gibor to rage war on behalf of my star El Enyon the most high God I submit my star to you El Shaddai El Oma El Lareb Yahushua Mashaya I further interface my star with the seventh spirit of God spirit of wisdom understanding counsel might knowledge the fear of the Lord Makatayaba I feel holy ghost I feel holy ghost Makashaya Haya ya 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 Evangelist Chin raise your hand Bradosh Kayaba I come against any warfare that you're facing in the ministry gifting and calling especially in the era of the prophetic I lose you to prophesy. I lose your discernment. I lose you, Robo Sanda, from demonic trafficking, demonic interference in your div divine frequency. I prophesy that you're supercharged with the Holy Ghost, Spirit of Wisdom, Yahushua Messiah is in you, Christ in you. The hope of glory, Rabbi Sanda. I command the thief to vomit out the things that he have confiscated. I release your gift. I release the oil of truth upon you. I release the ability to discern accurately the time and the season. Rekebo Shandai. Bilakusha. I call for archers and builders. Mandada, I lose your TV ministry. I lose your talk show. I lose your radio ministry. I lose your makashata, your visa. Mandake, UK. I lose you in Canada. I lose you in Philadelphia. I lose you in Europe. Reading Kutalia Shika, Robo Kutalia, Robo Kusa. I curse. And a fibroid that will attack your womb. I curse untimely death. I curse anything that will attack your mind. Milia molia sa. I lose money in your bank account. 
I lose JN Bank to pay you a visit. I lose checks, Makashata, stocks and bands. I lose promissory note. I lose gold and silver. Mm -mm. You better lose me tonight. Where is Prophetess Kamara? Shanda Bahaya. I lose gold and silver, Mandaba. Surprise money. I take you off demonic timeline, demonic time loon. I lose you from false future. When God says you're blessed, you must not see curse. When God says your marriage is ill, that's what he means. That's why we have to take the witch out, take down their stars from in the heavenlies that is rising against your peace, rising against your marriage. I release that ministry in you. You cannot hide. I release Robo Soto. Those buildings. I release money. I release governmental favor. Yabo Baba. The Lord says you better raise your altar in the heavens. Cause everything you say is being challenged. Everything you do, if God said B, they say A. You're being chanting that no witch can disgrace. You need an anointing that when it is prophesied, it must manifest. Who am I preaching to? Hey, I pray. Baby, baby nods. I speak further healing in your body. Kushadaba. I speak to your skin tone. I command you to vomit every creeping and crawling things in your body. In the name of Jesus. Rebe Shata. I come to Kalis, Kalina. I speak Healing in your vertebrae, healing in your mind, O oh, Robo Sataya. I come against accident. I come against calamity. I come against disappointment. Candy Williams, every attack upon your mantle, every attack upon your mind, every attack upon your gift, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. I speak glory, I speak husband, I speak business, I speak prophetic reformation, I speak transformation, I speak no one will take your other position, I send you back to school, nursing school, nursing school says God, Rakashata, I lose you genealogically to become the nurse that God called you to become. I command your brain to receive supernatural intelligence. My God, what is this? Oh, yes. Supernatural intelligence. Mandebosha. There's no word in the medical dictionary that you will not receive supernatural intelligence to break it down in syllable. I prophesy. I'm seeing that God wants you to be a nurse. I'm seeing that God is going to move you into that, that. I don't care what you think you are now. You are going back to school to learn nursing. R-N, R-N. Rabba, shung, tung, tan, ta. R-N, R-N. I prophesy to your star. R-N. Andala, badush, kandala, bahaya. Ay, 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 ay. In this season, you will not have much to say. In this season, the oil is going to bubble to another dimension. R.N. R.N. Candy William. R.N. It doesn't matter what you do. R.N. 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 Let me speak it until it's soaking you. Kandaba. Those power that are challenging you, that says you will never arrive to your destination. God says it's already done. Ay, 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 ay. Let, let me get let me get some music on. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. I see, I see God wanna bring Providence Kamara. 
God is taking off some weight off you. The angel is just popping off weight off you. Just wait, wait, wait. I don't care what is weighing you down. It be, it's been popped off because they, they are challenging you from an, another realm. So you must say, God, enough is enough. And I'm not going to fight. When the enemy wants to engage you, say, no, this is the Lord's battle. My seed is already on the altar, God, speaking. Uh, uh, and, 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 and I see many of you. Um, 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 Candy, Candy William is saying, yes, it is true. Well, if you don't believe that you need an altar, Candy, you need an altar like yesterday. You need an altar because there's so much thing that is speaking against you. And, and, and God wants to close up some door that you will not be attacked anymore on, on, on certain location. Um, God is getting ready to really elevate you. You are a first lady and you cannot compromise. You cannot compromise. She said, I will be registered. I didn't know that because we don't this. She said, she, she said, I will be registered. I will be registered nurse <laughs> in Jesus name. Mm. Mm. I have to come down now. I, I, so those of you don't get the concept of sowing and raising your altar, there's nothing more I can say. The Lord has said it all. It's up to you now mm. to do what you need to do. I'm trying to get a song. Amen. Um, to raise up your altar. Um, and for those of you that are getting buildings, oh my God. This is um what the father tell me that we are in the the, the, the Cyrus anointing time in the Trump uh, Trump administration. And so many of you need to walk into certain dimension of prosperity uh, that you are not walking in. And so if you don't want to, if you want to stay in that same plane, then this word is not for you. But if you want to come into this higher dimension, hallelujah, where you realize that what I am contending with is not just coming in the earth realm, this that power are found in another realm and they're raging a battle with me and some of my efforts have been attacked by these kind of power i need to also step in another dimension can i show you the biblical truth daniel was just going around until one day he said you know what certain thing that god has prophetically declared over this nation is not yet coming to manifestation so i need to step into a higher dimension and I'm paraphrasing. So what Daniel basically do, he engaged God in prayer and fasting. It was another dimension where he wrought repentance on behalf of God's chosen people to align their destiny back to God's original plan. When you're not in that dimension, you, things will just start to elude you and you remain at one level too long. And the enemy is literally killing you in that dimension. And God allow it because God want that to push you and to force you to come out of that low plane in the spiritual realm. So what I realize with many of us, when we're in a battle, God will send someone who is coming out of that battle. Uh, can, can I have a witness on this broadcast? So you will find that there's a similarity in what you're going through Versus what someone who just walk into your life with a prophetic word, whether on TV, radio, or whatever platform, God chooses to say, my God, that person went through the same thing and they're giving me better understanding as to how they overcome. God never leave us by ourselves to just go through stuff on help like, 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 like children that, that are retarded or illegitimate children without a guide. So this dimension that God is calling us to ascend to is a higher dimension. It is less spiritual warfare. It is dealing with things from an heavenly perspective. You cross over time, timeline, into, into space, realm, moon, stars. Prophetess Anna, you are terrible. Yes, I'm aggressive. Why? Prophetess Deborah function in that prophetic dimension. She spoke about things in the stars. Judges chapter 5 verse 20. 
the boric anointing caused her to operate in that atmospheric dimension of power into space to prophesy even to the stars in that dimension. I want us to come out of that dimension of just, oh, the devil, the devil, and start speaking into multidimensional layers of existence in space using the prophetic word of God in your mouth. Hallelujah, to re-revolutionize your life and prophetic destiny. Now, this brings me to the end of tonight's broadcast. I wanted the Lord to confirm to me, those that are saying, Prophetess, I am raising my altar tonight. This is so anointed. I will not let this season pass me by. Bye, bye, bye. And we don't need a weak altar. Come on. So, me, oh... Let me just give a little three dollars a ten dollar oh, when your witches is paying three million three thousand five hundred to get you in the grave and you said wow so when i raise my altar i go to god with a sacrificial seed that is tangible and i speak every day i remind god about my altar and, and, and what he says that he will do in the day that I'm in trouble. He will remember my sacrifices and offering. So those of you that are ready, and I know that before this fasting is done, uh, we, uh, we commence our fasting tomorrow, and uh, we're going to be using every prior point that we can get on stars and on your star of destiny. This entire week is going to be about you. The reason why it's going to be about you and me, there can be no great destiny without you. Hello? So if you are dead, if you're sick, if you're eliminated, then who's going to fulfill that destiny? So let us get some time out to deal with us. The first thing we're going to deal with is our stars. Hallelujah. Um, 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 being diverted. We're going to pray repentance prayer. We're going to be posting them immediately after I exit the broadcast because we're already into Monday the 8th. It's going to be one week right back until um, um, um until Sunday for me. For those of you who can't do the fasting, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 there's no way I can explain it more that this is really a Macedonian call for prior warriors and Fast into in prayers and, and intercession intercessory to be made on behalf of our star of destiny. Why now? Now is the time that the heaven is open, that the, the God is sending some vital information. Um, there has been a shifting as it relates to the guards and the um, prophetic watchman and gatekeeper on a global scale. And God is getting ready to demote some of them who have been plain. God bless you, um, uh, my mother in the Lord, Apostle Oslin Facey. And so because some of the, um, the, the, the watchmen and the prophetic intercessors and prophets and apostles, they are stubborn. They are self-proclaimed and they know that they are in error with the Lord, but they don't want to come down. Some of them are praying like Saul. So God is really empowering us. That we will walk in such a dimension of power that they will not be able to block and to stop us and cause us to suffer unnecessary because of their disobedience and their, in, their, their insubordination. We will come into our purpose. We will align ourselves to God and whatever God has designated for us in this prophetic season, whether they will like it or not. So this fasting that we're going to commence on tomorrow is going to be geared about you know towards our stars what do we need to, to 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 do to get our stars back um the way god created it what are some of this measure that we have to take what are some of the things that we have to do saints it's imperative that we are not jokers because the constellation is testifying new things and it's ridiculous when some people get this information and start to use it against us in a diabolical way and we are losing uh, when uh, every time we get a new territory we will lose it every time something new happen we go back into that mode so we need of, of 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 not having straight victory so we need to take the battle to the enemy uh, we need to take it to the heavenlies and we need to win so tomorrow um today because it's already 1 26 a.m i'm gonna 
I'm going to be posting now um, the fasting and oh, 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 it's going to be done. It's going to be from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, starting tomorrow, right back until Sunday. Uh, persons who are diabetic, you if you have to take your medication, you can still go ahead and take your medication and still be on the fast. And you can be on a partial fast as long as you're fasting. It is very important that you do it. Um, the second day of the fast, will God is going to be judging um, non-human entity, such as hybrid spirit and, 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 and stuff like that don't want to let us go. Some, some spirit we have prayed, we have repented, but they still want to enforce their kind of diabolical assignments. So we're going to forcefully take it to the court of heaven. I'm going to post the prayer on approaching the court of heaven. And, and, and you're going to pray it so that they will let your star go, let your children's star go, so that you can full stars go, so you can fulfill God's assignment for your life. If there's any question, you can inbox me, Halabashanda. I will be glad to answer as much questions as necessary. Again, there is a prophetic blessing for everyone that shares this video. I'm asking each person to, um, to share the video on their page, in their groups. If you want to take 10, go ahead. We want this message to get out. Uh, I am telling you, this is a very, very good season. I am thanking God for all the prophecies that he has, um, he has um, confirmed on this broadcast, especially the one with, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, um, Candy um, um, Wellington, and um, becoming an RN. Um, um, it, it's just amazing when we get ourselves ready. And I believe at the end of the fasting, there's going to be an accelerated uh, anointing for to launch you out. So as your stars are, are as you as you wage a war for over your stars, you raise your altar tonight, uh, and and um, you begin to start from this day going forward. It will all be about your stars manifesting everything that God says you are. Nothing missing. Nothing broken, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken, and the zeal of God. I am so excited. We'll perform it. Now, Daddy, I just want to thank you. That, a hey, oh my God, do you know what I'm seeing in the realm of the Spirit? Huh. And those of you that have prophetic eyes, just take a deep breath in. Now, I'm going to tell you what I see in the realm of the Spirit. As I say the last word. I begin to see entity falling out of the heavens in the realm of the spirit before the Lord whom I stand. I begin to see entity falling out. So there are some things that sitting on your stars and you will never manifest until you dispossess them. God has given us the wisdom. Um, Prophet Ransford said the aggressive prophetess at a keyway. <laughs> I, I listen, I realize my warfare is not as intensive as it used to be. I was watching one of Dr. DK Ulukuyu broadcasts and he was talking about powers fighting you from the heavenlies, people that are drawing power from the heavenlies. And I'm saying, my God, look at God. This is what God is saying. So when you just don't hear, Lord, the Lord is my light. Are you not carrying power to rent the heaven and declare over your star that father kill this power killing my star project your blood in my star wash my star in your blood Jesus then guess what you're still gonna live in defeat even go, though the Lord has spoken so many great things over your destiny so let us take the battle of the stars to the stars and Fight for our destiny so that all that the Lord has prophesied and proclaimed over our life will not be a figment of our imagination, but it will be a reality. Not just that you will see it, but those like Joseph, when his promise came into fruition, everybody saw that Joseph was not just prophesying. This is what he was talking about. So may the Lord have his riches 
blessing on you. I'm excited and I know that this one week journey with our stars is going to produce great testimonies. And I want everyone to be free to testify. If you are kind of uncomfortable about your testimonies being posted on my page, you can just um, 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 notify me that you do not want your name to be disclosed. We can still put the testimony there, but your name will be withheld for privacy purpose. So God bless you again. This is Prophetess Anna K. Wade, and this is the Line of Judah Prophetic Ministry. Until next time, shalom, and have a wonderful week. God bless you. Mm.